You know, he was part of one of the biggest trades in Major League Baseball history, one of the biggest bonus babies of his era, part of the Reds dynasty at the start. But uh, what he did for baseball as a coach and developer has to be respected on a number of levels. He uh, showed up for numerous teams and gave the best of his instruction, some of the best players of the 70s, 80s, and 90s. And uh, I have great respect for him because when he was with the Blue Jays, he really helped a lot of young prospects come along. So today we're talking about the great Dennis Menke. Now born uh, Dennis, John Menke, Dennis 1N, uh, played uh, baseball from 62 to 74 uh, in all the parts of 13 seasons. He played with the Milwaukee Atlanta Braves from 62 to 70, 67, the Astros from 68 to 71, 74, and the Reds in 72, 73. He came over in the infamous Carlos May trade along with uh, Joe Morgan, Geronimo, and Brister, all the top players. He was elected to the National League All-Star team in 69 and 1970. Now, born in Bancroft, Ohio, he was raised on a 480-acre farm in the northern part of the state. He played at St. John's High School in Bancroft and get this, signed with the Milwaukee Brewers in 1958 for a record $170,000, which is equivalent to $1.8 million in 2023. During his career, Menke hit 100 home runs and a combined batting average of 250. In 64, his career year, he had 20 home runs, a single season best. In 70, as Houston Astro, he combined a 304 batting average, the only time he hit over 300 as a major leaguer. In 69, Menke and Houston outfielder Jim Wynn hit grand slam home runs in the same inning. Now, Menke was a versatile player in the field. He played first, second, third, shortstop, and five games as an outfielder. He compiled a career fielding percentage of 969. He played his last major league game on July 10, 74, in his second run with the Astros. Now, Menke was one of five Astro players who were sent to the Reds in a blockbuster trade between the 71 and 72 seasons. Along with Menke, the Reds received future Hall of Fame second baseman Joe Morgan, starting pitcher Jack Billingham, center fielder Cesar Geronimo, and utility outfielder Ed Ambrister, while the Astros received second baseman Tommy Helms, uh, first baseman Lee May, and utility infielder Jimmy Stewart. This trade is generally regarded as being one of the most lopsided in the history of Major League Baseball, as it was a major force in developing the big red machine that would go, go on to win back-to-back -back World Series in 75 and 76, and of course make the finals in 72. Although Minky would eventually be traded back to the, the Astros uh, before then. However, Menke did play in the 72 World Series for the Reds that saw him lose to the A's in seven games. He also holds the dubious distinction of being the most unsuccessful would-be base stealer in MLB history, a minimum of 80 attempts, having only succeeded in 34 of his 86 career, career stolen base attempts for a 38.6 success rate. Now, Menke became a bigger star as a coach. He started his coaching career as a manager in 77 with the Burlington Bees of the Midwest League, a farm squad of the Brewers. The Bees won the league title that season in a three-game playoff against the Waterloo Indians. The following year, he managed the Dunedin Blue Jays of the Florida State League with 59 wins and 89 losses. The next year, 79, his record was 68 and 69. For the years 80 81, he was the first base coach for the Blue Jays and, of course, helping develop all that uh, 1980s talent for uh, Toronto. Now, Menke then returned to the Astros as hitting coach in 83 and continued there in that position until he was moved to third base coach in 86. In 89, he joined the Phillies as the hitting coach and continued there until 96. Menke finished his coaching career uh, by returning to the Reds as the bench coach for the years uh, 1997 to 2000. Uh, now, Menke unfortunately died at his home in uh, Tarpon Springs, Florida on December 1st, 2020 at the age of 80. So a career batting average of 250, 101 home runs, 606 RBIs. But what really stands out for me, ladies and gentlemen, I saw him work with a lot of the Blue Jay players. Very, very comparable to Tommy Lasorda as a third base coach for Oakland. When Menke spoke, people listened because he was been through the wars with the Brave system. A lot of good players there. Astros had a lot of prospects, including Rusty Staub, Morgan, uh, everybody else, Bob Watson. And I think, uh, obviously, it was a... It was a better decision to trade for him, see if he could work out rather than 
try and maybe uh, you know Concepcion, uh, but Morgan Concepcion were going to be a shortstop and a second baseman. But like I said, he he was talented, but not talented enough to be big uh, the big part of the big red machine. But for what he for what he did in Cincinnati has to be re- really recognized because he did help them get to the um, World Series in '72. So that's the story. The very great and in my opinion underrated Dennis Mankey because an all-purpose infielder. If you like what you're doing here, we're Cincinnati Red Podcast. Let us know with a like, comment, subscribe, or share. And don't forget, requests are always highly accepted and always highly considered. Thanks for listening. Bye.